Okay, let's do part 2b. Now, in uh, the problem is exactly the same other than the fact that the resistance here is not 100k, but it's 10k. Okay, we make a similar assumption. Let's assume that the voltage is Vd. And we should end up with an equation like this, isn't it? This is just following the steps of part A. So I'm going to skip the initial uh, few steps here. Uh, just in interest of time. So V phi minus Vb divided by 10k. So that's what you should get. And this is all assuming active mode. So let's just say that this is active mode. Okay. Uh, where beta is equal to 100. In active mode, beta is 100, right? And you can calculate Vb. And what you get is Vb equal to 4.6 volts. Okay, so if VB is 4.6, you get VE equal to 3.9 volts uh, because it's 4.6 minus 0.7 volts. And then you get IE equal to 3.9 milliampers because if this is 3.9 volts, 3.9 volts divided by 1K should give you the current here. And therefore IC is going to be equal to 100 divided by 101 times 3.9 milliampers and that turns out to be 3.86 milliampers and therefore VC turns out to be what? It turns out to be 5 minus 3.86 milli times 1k and that's equal to 1 that's equal to one point oops i'm sorry for that well 1.14 volts and now you can see that uh think about this what is vc in this case what's the voltage here vc vc is 1.14 and what is vb you can look at it here vp is 4.6 so is it reverse biased is the base collector junction reverse biased no therefore active mode is wrong isn't it this transistor is not in active mode. Okay, if it's not in active mode, then let's assume saturation mode. So let's assume that this is in saturation mode. Okay, and now we'll have to do the problems again. All right, so what we can do is we can say, okay, what is IB? We know what IB is. It's basically uh, IB is going to be 5 minus VB divided by 10K. Right? And what is IE going to be? IE is going to be VB minus 0 0.7 divided by 1K. Right? Because VE is going to be VB minus 0 0.7. And this is ground. So VE divided by 1K will be equal to IE. But we can't write an equation between IB and IE because this beta equal to 100 no longer holds. This is saturation mode, right? So instead, what we'll do is we'll say, okay, what is uh, VC going to be, right? And we'll have to write the equation for VC. And VC in saturation mode, remember, it is going to be equal to VE plus 0 0.2 volts which means it is going to be equal to Vp minus 0 0.5. And that gives us an equation for IC. What's the equation for IC then? We know Vc. We know Vc. We know this voltage at on this side of the resistance. So 5 minus Vc divided by 1k. So the equation is going to be 5 minus Vc, which is Vp minus 0 0.5 divided by 1k and we know a relationship between IB, IE and IC. What's the relationship? IE equal to IC plus IB. So we can put that and we get an equation in VB, right? So we get VB minus 0 0.7 divided by 1k, that's IE and IC is 5 minus Vb minus 0 0.5 divided by 1k 
plus what is IB? IB is 5 minus VB divided by 10K. And if you solve this, you should get VB equal to 3.7 volts. And from there, you should be able to calculate VC and VE. Okay, so that's part 2B.